Stronger than steel, that's how tough Spider-Man's webbing would be if it were real. And honestly, it's not just comic book nonsense. Science actually backs this up. Let's geek out for a second. Real spider silk, yeah, the stuff real spiders shoot out, is crazy strong. Like on a pound for pound level, it's stronger than steel and even tougher than Kevlar. In Spider-Man's webbing, in the comics, it's a synthetic version based on actual spider silk. So if Peter Parker really nailed it, his webs wouldn't just hold up a car, they could yank it into the air like a yo-yo. Imagine this, you're swinging through New York at 60 miles per hour, clinging to nothing but these skinny little threads. In real life, wind would be clawing at your face, your shoulders would be begging for mercy. But that web line, solid as a skyscraper's cable. And get this, some real scientists are actually trying to design synthetic spider silk, like in labs right now. They call it bio-inspired engineering. Think goats genetically modified to produce spider silk proteins in their milk? Yeah, that happened. Now picture a single strand of Spider-Man's webbing, about the width of a fishing line, stretching between two buildings. The fibers shimmer like glass under the sun, but when a bus comes flying off a bridge, bam, it catches, holds, and gently swings it back like a Newton's cradle gone wild. But here's where it gets even cooler. The stuff's not just strong, it's flexible, which means mid-swing, mid-fight, mid-absolute chaos, that web line can bend, twist, absorb shock, and not snap. It behaves more like a rubber band than a chain. And to make matters more scientific, Spider-Man's hypothetical webbing would have to balance tensile strength with elasticity. Meaning, it pulls hard without stretching too much, then snaps back, all while carrying the weight of a grown dude in tights doing flips. That's actual next-level physics. So yeah, if Spider-Man's webbing were real, it wouldn't just be cool, it would be a game changer. Stronger than steel, elastic like gum, and light enough to hide in your sleeve. That's superhero science proving once again, fiction might be swinging a lot closer to reality than we think.